Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're going autonomous with Army caravans, seeing the world without any windows, and 3D printing on the fly. A new patent from Airbus has recently been released detailing an aircraft with a cockpit including a viewing surface for piloting which is at least partially virtual. This virtual surface would most likely be an OLED screen and may include the use of holograms. The preferred version of the design would provide a 180 degree panoramic view both vertically and horizontally taking in data from multiple cameras positioned around the plane. The patent also claims that the new cockpit would decrease the plane's mass, improve the aerodynamics, and increase the payload by allowing the cockpit to be repositioned in an otherwise unused part of the plane, such as the lower part of the vertical tail of the aircraft or in the hold, because it doesn't require the pilot to actually see outside. And while it claims to increase safety and may help avoid situations like this, I still think I would feel better knowing that my pilot is out in front with a clear, non-virtual view of the sky. Technology fails. Windows don't. Sometimes they actually work too well. I walked right into the window. <laughs> Windows. The U.S. Army Tank Automotive Research Development and Engineering Center, or TARDAC's 30-year ground vehicle strategy is creating new technology that could lead to completely autonomous systems. The vehicles will use safety features such as obstacle detection, collision avoidance, lane departure, tip-over warnings, and vision enhancement for low visibility conditions. They also will provide aid to soldiers located in the battlefields. According to the U.S. Army, the most recent demonstration of driverless vehicles took place in May 2014 at the Department of Energy's Savannah River site in South Carolina, where a convoy of seven different tactical vehicles were driven completely unmanned at speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour. Two types of kits provide the nuts and bolts of the autonomous vehicles. The first kit, or autonomy kit, includes sensors that observe what is around the vehicle. It also includes a light detection and ranging, or LIDAR system, which looks for curves in the road and changes from pavement and gravel to grass and uses those to inform the platform where the road surface is and its expected travel path. The BiWire Drive Kit operates the basic functions of the vehicle, such as steering, acceleration, and braking. Both kits are designed in a modular fashion to allow for flexibility in the future. Dr. Paul D. Rogers, director of TARDAC, believes that the technologies that the Army is developing will spawn new investments in the commercial sector, which in turn will help the U.S. economy. That's it. We're all familiar with how far 3D printers have come since their inception. But have you ever wondered what they'll be like in 2040? BAE Systems is working to create 3D printed UAVs. But essentially, the company is looking to develop aircraft that can house an ultra-fast 3D printer that can fly into disaster situations, diagnose the problems, determine what types of UAVs could assist, and then print them. Once the onboard 3D printers have created the UAVs, they are deployed and perform their designated operations, whether it's rescuing people or just monitoring the situation. This concept technology was announced alongside a concept for self-healing aircraft components. Now, BAE believes that they could create the ultimate adaptable task force, as the system could not only monitor and adapt to situations, but also create custom hardware that might be needed on the fly. That pun was intended. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>